We present a method for generating character animations with realistic task-specific foot-stepping behavior while performing and switching between tasks such as lifting and moving objects, sitting and getting up on stools, and writing on a whiteboard. We use a richer footstep vocabulary to generate task-specific locomotion. Observe how the character sidesteps to reach a closely lying task. At the top we show the transitions possible between various footstep styles and below we show an example of our reconstructed motion. Notice how the character uses this enhanced footstep vocabulary while performing some tasks to generate natural looking footstep motion. The character uses combinations of backwards and forward stepping while performing certain tasks to better position itself for the desired task. While exiting a task which is far away, the character uses a hill pivot and turn and step strategy. And then the character transitions to a locomotion face. We use a face structure to generate and optimize footstep strategies. We split the reconstructed motion into exit, locomotion, and entry task faces to optimize the generated footstep plan. We now show a synthesized output and the associated task aware face structure. Using the footstep strategies associated with the task phase, the character generates a task-specific footstep pattern while entering, performing, and exiting tasks. We now show each of our task categories in turn. Here we show a reconstructed long sequence with multiple writing task locations. The next writing task is highlighted with a blue colored sphere. We also show the associated footstep plan with the categories of footstep style highlighted by the spawn shoe color as earlier. The character sidesteps for closely situated next tasks, perform partial turn and steps for tasks located at medium distances, whereas the character performs full turn and walk towards the goal for tasks which are far away. In this task, the character lifts a 10 kilogram box and places it at the locations highlighted with blue boxes. The character places itself in a natural orientation with respect to the pickup and target placing locations. Again, here we see that for closely lying target locations, sidestepping or partial turn and step strategies are observed, whereas for far away targets, full turn and step strategies are reconstructed. A setting task requires proper turn and stepping behavior while entering the task. Toe pivots are observed during sitting depending on the angle of approach. Also, heel pivots and turn and step strategies are reconstructed while exiting in certain directions. Task specific motion generation can also be applied to motion tasks such as turn around in place. In this example, the turnaround tasks are represented by circular arrows. We can reconstruct footstepping behavior associated with high effort and low effort tasks. Low effort tasks are highlighted with green spheres, and high effort tasks are highlighted with blue spheres as earlier. Notice how the character prepares itself for the future tasks with a much greater degree for low effort tasks as opposed to high effort tasks. Our system is capable of generating task specific footstep plans and associated full body motion in real time. Here we show that we can move the task locations around and the system generates a plan for the desired target locations. We generate a full footstep plan for all the task locations for visualization purposes in this example. We can also switch between categories of tasks in real time and the system generates footstepping patterns associated with the entry and exit requirements for the desired task category. Another advantage of using task-specific footstep plans is that the system automatically generates different plans for the same task locations for characters of different dimensions. This cannot be achieved by simple motion graph-based techniques. 
We now compare a motion captured sequence for a combination of tasks involving writing with low and high effort on a whiteboard, sitting on a box, and picking and placing heavy boxes. The reconstructed motion is now shown for the same scenario. We now show the output of the algorithm when the optimization for the footstep plan has been disabled. Disabling eye care results in foot slides in the reconstructed motions. Disabling feet trajectory warping results in snaps in the reconstructed foot motion. No root motion warping results in snapping behavior for the reconstructed root motion. The use of our algorithm produces natural exit and entry behaviors in a task of air fashion. Removing half of the templates used for footstep planning causes reduction in both the quality of the motion produced and the richness observed in modes of task specific transitions. Thank you for watching.